Here in this video, I will show you how to create dental website using only free themes and the free plugins. Here you can see I use no any just paid plugins or something. I only use any free themes and free plugins, which is the most popular theme that is the Elementor and the Zakra theme. So if I just show you in the appearance, you can see this is the appearance, and if I just go to the theme section so it will see that this is the chakra theme is here and i can just scroll the element here you can see this is the gopro is the enable just showing us because because of that i'm just not installing the element pro that's why it is showing so in this video i'll show you the only free method so without instant time let's get on the video welcome back to a brand new video i'm soma from the creator academy Alright, at first just take a look of the full website then I'll show you how to make it from the scratch or how to demo import how to make the appointment form. If I just click on this appointment you can see this is the appointment form. So it is just custom made you can, you can also change the just you can see this is just email and then you can also change the just add your problems or neurology I care everything appointment date also you can choose from here time also you can choose from here and then you can also choose the, the medical bin everything you can also in the description then submit. So in this video I'll show you how to make it this type of just forms and then also this is the contact form also this is the contacts and you can see this is a contact form so this is a feedback form also you can also do that so at first just go to the themes appearance and then I'll show you how to make the how to install the themes and plugins then at first the step by step I'll show you the customizations and everything how to make it this step just information box with the box or everything I'll customize it and if I'm just scrolling down you can see this is the nothing animation or something I'll add animation how to do that I'll show you so at first just I'm resetting full website then I'll show you from the scratch just click on I'm just creating the W reset using so then after this I'm just creating the new reset I'm writing reset so then just I'm resetting the site this is the free method you can see here this is the free method and everything you can just also free so you cannot expect the a huge lot of that you in that this is the in the available in the pro feature so you, if you want to add pro feature elementor pro some or get something pro features so you have to install the elementor pro so i'll put the link also in the description you can also download the elementor pro from the description also but i'll show you in the free method today in this video if you comment down that i'm just showing you in the put method paid method also yeah elementor pro so i'll make the video on later so you can see this is the our, our page looks like this so i'm going to just click on the reload button here you can see this is just nothing because this is just just everything that you can see this is just a demo page wordpress after installing that is 2020 theme so i'm just go to the appearance and go to the themes and you'll open link a new tab then just click on this add new so after clicking on add new so just search for theme for zakara so if I'm just writing for Zakra, so here you can see this is the theme. So you have to install it and activate it. I'm already installed it, so I'm just activating it. You have to install it and activate it. So after installing the Zakra, so you can see this is the get started with Zakra. This is the pop-up is just come from the top. So you have to install it. Just click on this, then it will automatically activating. We have to do nothing. So after installing, then you can see this type just full just website one click demo import themes it just came template is template is just came so i'm just click on this it is just elementor because i want to add um, i want to customize in and i want to add a website from the elementor that's why i'm just click on edit, edit the elementor then just scroll down scroll down then if you just if you search for this demos if you search for dentist so if you search for dentist here you can see this is the dentist is just came so if you want to add the preview so just click on this preview button then you will see this is the preview is just came so you have to install that scroll down then you can also change the everything you can also preview that then you can also import so you can also click click on import demo or also i'm just click on this and then you can also import from import then you can see this is the importing in just happening so after importing i'll just tell you how to install the themes and plugins what do you have to install so if you have elementor free version and you don't have to purchase you have not budget to and buy the elementor pro so but don't worry i'll show you the free plugins the important plugins which i'm using so if i'm just click on this add new with a new tab so i'm just showing you how to do that so opening a new tab just so let me show you so just click on this and add new plugins add new so this is the harassed from sub installing template it will automatically come so if you search for elementor if you search for elementor you will see 
so after searching elementor here you can see this is the essential add-ons for elementor this is the most popular plugin for the elementor you have to install it and activate it to get the pro something pro features not the L pro level features of elementor pro but something like that you have to you will get in the essential add-ons for elementor you will get in this features and then this is the premium add-ons for elementor also you have to install in activity to get the pro features also this is the element kit. this is the most popular three plugin you can also use it without using elementor pro i'll suggest you to do, do you use it so as a choice you can also do that as a choice so i'm just click on the, you can see this is the our import side from the website we just automatically just imported with a click and seconds so if you just click on this live review then it will come from the our site here you can see this is the dentals logo and then the home service appointment dentist news about a contact everything is just here so if i'm just scrolling down here you can see this is the make an appointment also and this is the get a better smile means this is small one button just click on this then it will automatically direct to the appointment page here you can see this is the appointment page it just came so if you just go to the back and if you again you can click on this then it will automatically come to the appointment page then you can see this is the information sections and then appointments the appointment sections and then doctors here you can see this is nothing animations or something it looks not cool or not the awesome so i will add the animation something at first just click i'm just show you how to edit the header or how to create the menu so i'm just go to the arrow appearance and go to the hover button appearance if i'm just loading the pivot this page and then you can see this appearance and go to the menu so if i'm just click on this new tab so how to create the menu here you can see this is the company it is automatically just menu is just auto automatically selected because i don't just create a menu so i just click on this primary menu and selecting this so you can see this is the our primary menu that is home service appointment dentist news about contact so if you want to add add menu or something like if you just want to add uh, any just if i'm just um, write uh, blog if you want to write blog so if i'm just writing blog then you click on add to menu then just scroll down you can see this is the blog it just automatically came so you can also change the blog also we just drag and drop you can see if i just want to add the blog before the contact if you just drag and drop up here you can see so this is the, if you if you just positioning this like this it will automatically come from sub item means drop down about um, drop down about section this is the about section after this it will drop drop blog it just came if i'm just just selecting this in position so it will come from the menu section so i don't know to just add then something so i just load this page so then i will just let me just show you how to edit the menu or something just click on this customize button so after clicking on customize so you will see this is a header and footer and everything is just came you can see this is the headers you can just you can also change the image from here also you can change the heading so you can see this is the primary heading so if you just scroll down scroll down scroll down and everything so you can see this is the footers also just click on this then you can also change the footers so if you search for this like company if you just like uh, if you search for this like mail like contact us contact us here you can see this is a contact us within a fraction of seconds the contact us change is just text text just changing so how you can just change this text type of the text and everything so you can see this is the logos also here and text also this is the menus and service section and then so, so like everything is just you can also change by clicking on there and the menu also you can change it so if you just click on this footer link then you can also change that this is the footer link is automatically changeable you can also change by layer. this is the copyright section so if you just click on this then you can see this is the copyright so you can also change that by leaving by this you can also do that. you can also do that so i'm just showing you how to edit the footers and heading heading and the footers uh, everything so now go to the customization how to edit the custom how to edit the customizer everything how to add the animations how to add the box editor everything so to do that i'm just if you see if you can see after every pages in every pages you can see this is the edit is elementor button so this is the cool button so you have to just click on this so i'm just click on the edit the elementor button so it will automatically relate to the redirect to the elementor dashboard so after just element is loading so you can see this is the elementor dashboard it just came so here you can you just customize everything as your choice not the get the pro features like elementor pro but something like that i proc something like that in the elementor free version you can also do that if i'm just showing you for an example just click on this text and go to the style tab go to the text color you can also do just customizable like that you can also do that so here you can see this is the just pull image so how to change the image just click on the six dot icon then go to the style tab 
then you can see this is the background image so you can also change the image from that if you just click on this media library and if you want to ask, ask this is the, for the images so it will automatically come after installing the template so it will don't worry about the images so automatically it is come after that installing the template automatically all the images will come so if you can so in this way you can change the images so if you just click on this about background overlay you can also add the background overlay from here if i'm just writing background overlay then you can see the background overlay also you can increase or decrease like that you also do that by just drag and drop the background overlay so i don't want to do background overlay just click on this i'm changing this then this is the text so i'm just changing the text from black color pure black then you can also change the background this is the buttons so you can just click on the style button then you can also hover then you can see this is a hover so if you add to add over animation something you can just writing here you can see this hover animation just happening so how you can add the hover animation how you can just add in this way how you can customize the color or something then you can see this is the macro appointment this is the this table just information text so just click on this then you can also change the full color you can see this is the color so if i'm just writing this color or everything you can also do that from here so how you can change the background color or something next i'm just moving on to the next step that is this section so if i'm just writing this column and then go to the advanced and go to the this table just, uh, so this is the motion effect and if you just click on the style tab then you can see the border so just click on this and then if i'm just box shadow so if you just click on this and then border is also i'm just giving it to like 10 pixel and then border shadow means box shadow sorry box shadow so if i'm just writing want to add the box shadow, if i'm just giving to 0.1 then vertical also i'm giving it to 10 and the blur also i'm giving it to 20 and this spread also 10 so you can see this is the light box that we just came came up to instrument just going this so now you can just click on the advanced tab and padding will be like i'm giving it to 20 so it will come all the padding also come from the 20 you can also do that so i don't use that i'm just loading this page you can also do that as your choice as your wish you can also do that Add um, box shadow adding box shadow so how to do this type of just icon box this is just icon box so i'm just showing you how to add the icon box or something you can just click on this and then click on the icon search for icon box so you can see this icon box is just came so just drag and drop it you can also do that by only placing the image then headings then everything text you can also do that by in just in, in just using only box shadow sorry box icon box you can also do that just click on the style tab and the primary color if i'm just writing primary color this and then you want to change the icon like icon library and if i'm just writing hospital so it will come that you can see this is uh, just like uh, just like that you can also do that and just click on the content and then you can also change the content color or something if i'm just writing this then you can see this is the content color is just happening now so you can also do that by only using icon box or also you can also do that using using image and then customly made means the customly made only using image then this is the headings and this is the paragraphs only using this then you can see this is the working hour so it is the text editor and everything is just custom 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 made you can also do that just click on this heading you can see this is the text editor just care so it is the make an appointment means that this is the automatically come after click on this it will automatically direct to the appointment i will show you appointment how to make the appointment so you can see this is the next this is our doctor's page just click on this then you can see this is the heading this is the custom page means the image and then the text and this is the text it's a paragraph text just click on this then i'm going to go to the center and then click on this i'm just going to the style tab and give me to center to looks better good just click on this and then text editor go to the style tab and click on the center like that just click on this and then go to the center then also go to the style tab and center that's like this now in the morning in the next section just click on the update so don't forget to click press on the update button because you lost your auto call creativity then you can see this is the test terminal section you can also do that by can customize this is the image custom image and this is the headings and this is the like description you can also do that and this is also something like so i want to add the animation because this is the like you not smooth animation so everything and like that so i want if you add to add animation then it will look so your website more cool and faster just click on this column and then go to the advanced tab and this is a motion effect so in the tricks way how to add the animation just motion effect just click on the fade in left so it will come from left it will come from left and it will come from the center so it looks more good so that's why i'm just saying this is the come from uh, fade in up then this is the um, the th this is the right column then come motion effect and i'm just giving it to right then also just giving it to this so i'm just click on this and then advanced tab and motion effect also i'm giving it to fade in up 
fading up and then again this is the advanced tab motion effect and i'm giving it to fading up this is the image also i'm giving it to because it is the center so that's why i'm just giving it to fading up then the text also big text also this is the also fading up i'm giving it to fading up then this is the doctor so again just click on this left, left column and then motion effect and also give me to fit in left and then click on the center column center column and go to the advanced tab and motion effect then i'm giving it to fade in up then also again just click on this go to the advanced tab and then motion effect also i'm giving it to fade in right then this is the text whole text so i'm giving it to advanced and motion effect Give it to fade in up so how you can also do that i just showing the overview showing you the way how you can do that you can also change as your choice i'm just showing you the process how to do that you can also change everything as your choice so in the in this way you can also change the add, add your animation by adding the animation you always said it looks more cool in like in the pro feature like you have using pro features but you you not using you only using the pre feature free version element free version but you will say looks like the pro version using using by using these motion effects that's why i'm just saying you so i'll maybe just show you how to make it responsive also because it is the, all the devices in this just 2021 it is all this our mobile friendly of the website is just came that's why you have to just all the always make it responsive as your website so i'm just saying just most changing the motion effects or something sorry i'm just giving it to fit in right like that and then also you can also do that i'm just click on this text and change it like that uh, also do that this is just just coming the end so i'm just giving it to and then it is almost ending part so i'm just giving it a left and then also this is the buttons and this is the end part so this is the component that's it so you can also change it like that you can also do everything as your customize um, just as your wish you can also do that in the motion effect now go to cartoon just come to the appointment part if i'm just loading space you will see this is smooth and this is the text you just came this is the text you just left from come from right right left everything you can left from center you can see here this is the website it looks more cool just click on the page and this is automatically come now come to the part at appointment just click on this appointment so i'm just closing this page here you can see this is the appointment so this is the form so i'm using the i'm is not i'm using this is the after installing the template it will automatically come that is everest forms so this is the most easy form you can also do that i mean, i'll show you how to make the forms and how to change everything so you can do that this is the the name email select doctor and this is the select appointment date or something or also this is the appointment date is also just not here so if you want to change the form also you have to change the form because this is here is nothing like the dear selector or something like um, any um, just um, this disease which which disease we want to just want the, in the doctor so i'll add the just things how to do that just click on the Everest forms and i'm just clicking on new tab with the Everest form so then i'll show you you can see this is the contact form is just here and this is the appointment and this is the contact form again contact form because this is the appointment form and this is the code i'm just going to go to the contact section so we'll see so this is the contact form all looks like this is the contact form so i want to add the appointment form you can just click on this appointment and click on edit the elementor so after clicking the edit the elementor so eliminate this that's what loading so if you just click on this then you can see this is a short code so here from you can get the short code here you can see after just making the short form after making form here you see this is the short code is just here so we have to just enter the short code so to add a new form how to add the new form just click on this add new then you can see a lots of just template is just all automatically happening automatically here because this is the medical appointment form so you can also do that by getting started just click on the get started and then you can see this is our form looks needs a name so if i'm just writing book and appointment so as like it you can see also just writing book and appointment then click on continue so after it's seconds you can see this is the all full just details is automatically came here you can see this is change the change you can also change the patient's full name also also you can change the date of birth and then gender also you can change the this is the drag and drop you can also change the like this here you can see this the female is just came and also other is like came drag and drop also you can do that by as a choice 
you can see the email so if you just click on this then you can see this also to enter the description or this is the enter valid email address like this you can also do that so you can see this is the star like that you can see this is the star red star so it means the required so you can also disable this by click on this you can see this is the required so if i just click on this then uncheck this you can see the email required is not not here so if i just click on this required then you can see this is automatically just came also you can change the ad payment date of preferred time everything so after saving this just after saving this then you can see this is the short code so i'm just let me just copy this so i'm just copying this so then after this i'm just disabling the disable deleting this and then click on the plus icon also you will you can also do the customization if you search for short code here you can see this is the short code is just here so you have to drag and drop it here then just paste the short code just paste the short code so after paste the shortcode here you can see this is the patient full and everything just full form here i'm just only just creating this so automatically it is the full form it just came so i'm just updating this page after updating i'm just loading this page here you can see this is the patient full form date of birth everything you can also date selector you can also change the gender and email and then you can also change the added disease or something and you can also do that environment date and prefer a time also you can do that like you know like uh, 6 a.m or something and this is the medical store and uh, had have you been um, out of the medical store something and then you can also um, as your description as your as your, um, as your requirement also you cannot do that and then you can also submit that so this is the full appointment form how you can just add the or customize your as your custom appointment for or something so how to change this type of just email information box or something just click on the utility elementor so i'm just clicking on a new page so element is just reloading so you can see this is the full page so i'm just click on this then you can also change the icon library and click on this then you can also change the text so just click on this just click on this then you can also change the everything and then this to customize everything just click on the style tab then you can also customize everything as your choice so now come to the contact form also or also if you just click on this contact form here you can also change the this the google map also change the google map also change the call acts. just click on this it is the elementor then click on it then automatically came also you can change the feedback form as i show you this is the customizable how to do that so let me just create a new one in the just create a new one that is uh, contact form just click on this digital elementor so here you can see the contact form is just came so how to add this like this so just click on this all prompts again then you can see this is a contact form just i'm just just click on this new tab so you can see this is a contact form just here so how to add the like email or something if i'm just I want to add like any like everything if i'm just writing drop down so just drag and drop it after drag and drop it you can also change the option so if you want to add like easy option just like option one option two option three you can also do like if i'm just writing contact us you can also do that contact us if i'm just writing like company you can also do that everything you can also do that by just click on it so how you can change the car or cast can change your customize everything in the contact form or if i storm everything you can also do that by the by this process so now come to the this point that is the how to make it responsive how to make it the uh, mobile friendly if i'm just loading this page so after loading it just automatically came so go to the about page about you can see this is the full page so it is also automatically customizable as i show you how to customize your everything in the home page i'll just show you how to come everything do that so now come to the that is responsive way i'm just click on the new tab so i'm just disabling this thing so after i'm just replacing this here you can see this is the responsive mode is just here so this is the responsive mode means, means this is here is you can also do that do customize just customize everything by click just click on this mobile device and the tablet device if i just click on this then you can see this that in the top bar this is the one bar is just here that is the desktop view tablet view and this is the mobile view if you just click on this tablet view then you can see how our website is looks like in the tablet view so it's like uh, in the, the, the text and the image will image is like overlapping so how to make it just happen just nice looking nice so how to just click on this if you just want to add the overlay background overlay so it will looks more cool you just click on the style tab and then go to the background overlay and go to the background type and this is the background color if i'm just adding and then go to the overlay so overlay means i mean i don't want to change the overlay just click on this and go to the style tab and the text color i'm just giving it to white pure white and the description also i'm giving it to style tab and then pure white and the button is also just came 
so how you can change the this type of just um, description on some text editing everything and if you just scroll down you can see this is automatically this is working fine now and this purpose section also working fine and then some doctor section also fine now the HTML section everything just coming from zoom effect so it looks more cool so I, that's why I just want to I want to add the, the uh, motion effect here you can see this is the mobile device how our website is looks like in the mobile device so it will automatically just come in the left side if you just click on this text and then put the content if I'm just writing in the center so it looks more cool let's click on this and go to the center so in the same for the mobile device only for the mobile device you will um, you can also in the, the position to position in the center so it looks more cool if you're just scrolling down you can see this is the section is just also working fine and this this is the iphone information section the information box section is also working fine in the working hours everything is looking fine because it is just premium template but it is free it is free but it is premium template that's why it is just make already made responsive just to customize and everything if you just click on the desktop view again just cut cut this then you can see this is the like our website looks like if you just load in this page here you can see our looks like our website this looks like like this so now i'm just inspecting this i'm just inspecting this inspect this then you can see i'm just click on this mobile device and then just scrolling down here you can also change the mobile device how all of it looks like so you just click on this it will the menu is automatically came then this is the button she just came and then everything is just now fine in the mobile device also you can see this is scroll down you can see everything is just fine now if i'm just scrolling down like this in the tablet device how our mobile how our website is the tablet device is looking now here you can see this is just autumn just working automatically fine so how we can just make a doctor respond dental website with uh, using only free themes and the free plugins here using the elementor elementor theme just theme plugins and after installing the jacara theme after installing jacara theme after install the template automatically everything is just came so here you can see this uh, it looks like like uh, not good so just it uh, just works like so just click on the screen options then uncheck all these things just uncheck all these things don't do everything just uncheck all these things and cut this cut this message also cut this message so you can look better understand and clear and clearly how to just game so here in this video i'll just show you how to create this type of just dental website with using only free themes and free plugins here you know use any paid plugins or something is you know only free themes and free plugins also makes your website looks more cool and for more faster everything and also i'll show you i'm just i showed you that how to make an appointment form how to make a contact form how to customize your everything so if you have facing one problem or something you just please comment down how just if what the what is your problem what you're facing so i'll make video or how i'll i'll just try to answer your problem or everything and if you want to just add so if you want to make if you want that i make the business website or something e-commerce website landing page everything so please comment down that you you have seen this website this type of website you want so i'll make video on it and, and how is the video please comment down like this video subscribe this channel share with your friends or or this is a facebook groups or something which we will need this video and see you in the next video till then bye bye thanks for watching